I am just someone who was having another transmission issue when I decided to try Instant Shutter Fix. It has worked for me so far, but you cannot take my blog or this vlog as direct advice nor hold me accountable for anything that goes on with your vehicle. This video as well as the other videos covering Instant Shutter Fix are an honest account of my experience with it. I am not paid by Lugard Instant Shutter Fix or anyone else for making any of these videos. I am just about 200 miles away from hitting 9,000 miles. Yes, that quickly. It is uh, April 6th, I think. Yeah. And here I am getting ready to already cross the 9,000 mile mark. And we're going to drive this vehicle down to Florida. So I think by the time I do that and a few other things, I'm going to be pushing the 10,000 miles with the instant shutter fix in the transmission. So I've thought about this. If the actual shutter returns the way it was or close to what it was, I've decided that I will add one more application of the instant shutter fix because it says that if the problem returns or if it persists, try adding another bottle, another two ounce bottle and see where that gets you. Right now, there's no urgency to do anything just yet everything is fine everything is pretty much as it has been the whole time since adding the instant shutter fix there are those moments where I'm like is the transmission trying to shutter or is it the road or what is it I've had a few of those moments and I feel like I've had more of those moments over the past 600 miles or so but I don't know for sure what it is because right now it is 83 degrees Fahrenheit here in Georgia. Like I told you, I'm, I'm at the 8,800 mile mark and I have no complaints. It is the craziest thing. I just, I don't have anything bad to tell you. I don't want to say anything bad. I want to think positive always about this situation because the last thing I need, as I keep saying, and I've said many times before, the last thing I need right now is to put another transmission in this vehicle because I am stuck with this vehicle. I have a conscience. I will not sell this vehicle to someone knowing that I had to put instant shutter fix in the transmission. I just can't do that to somebody. I just can't. I, you know, it's not me. I'm not gonna do that. Plus, Another good thing is I really like to get the most out of my vehicles. I hate buying a new car. I like to have something that I am comfortable with and that I never really feel like I need to upgrade it or anything. And that is this vehicle. Yes, there are some things that I would love to improve about this vehicle. I would love it if I didn't have this, whatever it is, this Microsoft system that's in here. I don't like it at all. But is that worth changing out a car? Absolutely not. It's not worth it. And I'm a technology guy. I mean, I like technology. I like gadgetry and I love stuff like this, but you know what? It's not worth the price tag at all. So for the most part, as long as this car continues to get me from A to B and doesn't give me any more fits with anything under the hood, then I'm committed to sticking it out with this car. But the last thing I'm gonna do is trick someone else and sell them a vehicle and, and not tell them about the transit. I can't do that. So since I can't do that, I have no choice but to just see it all the way through, ride to the bitter end, you know, with you guys watching and checking up on me. But here we are, uh, six miles ago, we're now seven miles ago. I hit 9,000 miles with the instant shutter fix. So, um, there you have it, I'm trying to get a clear shot. We are on our way, we're actually driving through Alabama on our way to Florida. 